It was a privilege and a pleasure to watch all these different kinds of films. And the uh, jury of the full length film have uh, decided to give the award to the woman who loves giraffes. <laughs> But uh, you see the age of the lady, you will have time to get your award as well. Can I speak? Uh, just I, I just say some nice nice things more. <laughs> okay. Okay. It's, uh, I just got the, the final text, so uh, I'm. Uh, not very good in English, so you help me and correct me, yeah? It's a very fascinating and touching personal story as well as a document of a female scientist having to struggle with gender prejudices. And that started as a 23-year-old or young Canadian woman breaking rules and stereotypes to study her love, which was the giraffes, and to pioneer the observation in animal behavior in their natural environment. The storytelling is very engaging and kept us involved as well by content and emotionally. He loves the structure of the film with the two time layers, with the old footage including the fine reenactments of her life in Africa. The film features very precisely the object of her love, the giraffes. We are impressed by her insight and her strength that was way before her time. Thank you. The only filmmakers that didn't come here are our ceremony president, Dr. Matthias. Thank you, please come here. We are very sad that they are not here, but good luck. Thank you. Yes, very sad indeed. Of course, it's. A fantastic honor for me to, and I, I've never thought in my life that I would ever give a prize to a brilliant uh, film director who did a film on a giraffologist. That, that's just fantastic. Well, I'm the, I'm the president of the Swiss National Science Foundation, so we're the sort of main funding body um, in Switzerland, public funding body, and uh, we were actually um, founded in 1952, so that was shortly before Dr. Anne Inista went to South Africa to do her um, uh, fantastic research on the behavior of this wonderful uh, animal. And I read that Anne was told she can do a PhD, but that's basically it. That's the end of her career. So at that time, I actually wasn't born then, but I suspect that at that time, the situation in Switzerland was very similar. And brilliant female scientists were held back. Now, one of our objectives of the Swiss National Science Foundation is to change that. And we have a gender equality commission. We have funding instruments that are specifically um, targeted at women. So they're basically only women can apply. And we really try very hard to promote women scientists and to increase the decimal percentage that we have in Switzerland of around 20% women full professors to increase that towards the 50% where we'd like 
to have it. The Swiss National Science Foundation also feels very strongly about science communication. And I don't know how many scientists do we have in the audience. Who is a scientist? Okay. So I'm sure you've, you've all heard of the Swiss National Science Foundation. Now, who had, who had some funding from the Swiss National Science Foundation? <laughs> okay. So we have, and I hope you all know this, we have a special funding scheme for science communication, which is called Agora. And on every 1st of September, you can submit your proposals for a project that is about getting science across to society. Okay? I have to say, the funding is only 200,000 francs, which will not fund the film which is saw, and will all also not fund the film that you did, uh, Alison, but it will fund a shorter film, which may have an important impact as well. Okay? So, science communication is important to us, and we also think that scientists, you know, should have a dialogue with society about the research they do, about what it means, what they're doing, and how it could be implemented, applied, um, so that human life on this planet is ultimately sustainable, and the quality of life is improved. So um, this is our mission, and uh, we are very grateful for all um, the funding that we receive at the Swiss National Science Foundation in order to fund excellent research. And we feel um, this responsibility to also fund um, projects in science communication. So I've spoken for too long already. Um, I'm now going to give you the prize. Can you come out? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so here it is. It's a beautiful statue. Oh, oh wow. Can you see it? Yeah, I can. Wow, that's incredible. Wonderful. Oh, beautiful. Lovely. Wow. We're going to post it to you. Oh, that's I'm going to fly to Zurich. I'm going to fly to Zurich as soon as I'm finished directing this project that I that is holding me back. <laughs> I need an it's excuse not, to get up. It's not a giraffe, but oh, wonderful. a beautiful animal as well. Yeah, wonderful. Thank you. Anne, do you want to say something? Uh, can I say something? Yes, sure. <laughs> um, well, um, the, the, that was really interesting what you said about the uh, Swiss National Science Foundation. I'm so glad that, uh, you know, gender equality is, is foremost on everyone's minds, as well as the other things you mentioned, conservation and sustainability on the planet. Um, uh, what can I say? This this film um, was a real passion project. We started with, with absolutely no funding, to tell you the truth, and um, and the project sort of grew and the story as the story unfolded. So um, I mean, Anne's story just resonated with me the minute that I heard about her, and it's very very rewarding to uh, to find out that it. it resonates with all of you as well. So um, thank you, Dr. Egger. Um, I want to I want to say thank you also to my fellow filmmakers. I read about your films in the in the global science uh, program and I'm gonna look for an opportunity to see them because they all look uh, fantastic. Um, Samir or Samir and uh, Susan the festival directors Thank you so much. I think that it takes just as much tenacity to put on a film festival as it does to be a filmmaker. I know it's an incredible amount of work and we wouldn't be able to show our films if, if people like you uh, weren't willing to uh, dedicate your space to it. So it's been incredibly hospitable and I've enjoyed talking to you and 
And um, Mark and the rest of the jury, I mean, you are incredibly accomplished people and to that you chose our film is incredibly humbling. We are so honored and thank you so much. Um, and I think the woman who loves giraffe should actually say a couple of words too. Anne, have you got anything to say? Yes, I want to say that the the animal is absolutely beautiful. Thank you so much. It's, it's, <laughs> it's, it's mining. It's just for me. I can <laughs> very <nice. laughs> Let's Share it. And thank you very much because you're helping with draft conservation. I'm sure just knowing about this film and people will want to know about it. And I think they'll then go to Africa and, and uh, do wonderful things for the draft there. Thank you so much. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. What a beautiful animal. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you too.